So, hi everybody. Here we are again. Uh, I know I haven't produced a video for some time, but I've had a few things going on that I'll get to later in this little uh, uh, few days away. Um, of, uh, what's been happening? You know, I've had uh, a relationship thing. I've uh, closed my shop. I've been a bit sick. Yeah, but you don't want excuses anyway. Anyway, I'm back. I'm making some videos. Here I am. It's the first time I've been in an airport for... Uh, since 2019. I'm the only one walking around without a slave muzzle on. And uh, here I am at the best part departures. I'm on my way to Krabi. To Kotlanta. Uh, the reason for that will be forthcoming when I get there and I can sit down and talk about it, etc, etc. I've got to go through security screening and stuff like that here, but here I am, as you can see, in the airport again. Yeah, I must say, it feels pretty good to be travelling away somewhere again. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll uh, get back into this video when I arrive in Krabi. And uh, do the bus trip down to Colanta, uh, and when I get to the guest house, I'll probably have a nana nap. I'm feeling a little bit tired. Woke up at four o'clock this morning. Okay, so Thailand dreaming, love letters from retirement. We're back. Ciao for now. So this is my uh, accommodation in. Uh, Kotlanta. It's a place called uh, Thai Smile Bungalows, I think. I'll tell you the name later anyway, and I'll give you a link. I don't think they have a Facebook page, but I'll give you a link and a phone number. Uh, it's a really beautiful little place. It's really cute. It's up off the main road, probably, you know, 100 metres to the beach or whatever. But yeah, it's a really wonderful little place. And uh, I, I quite like it. Let's have a look at the bathroom. It's got a really good bathroom. As you can see. Yeah. Shower, hot water. And you don't want to look at me in the mirror. Yeah, but uh, yeah, really, really nice little place. And uh, it's got a balcony out the back. There is a note saying, don't feed the monkeys because I think the monkeys came, come down here. Oh, look. It's a beautiful little um, balcony with uh, a nice uh, jungle background, basically. Yeah, it, it's really nice. Look at that. You know, there is a light and um, yeah, you need a bit of mosquito repellent. But yeah, it, it's uh, a lovely little bungalow. I'm really quite happy with it. You know, you can see through the trees down there, the ocean's just down that way. It's not far from the beach at all. And uh, beautiful surrounds. It's really quiet. It's a lovely place. Nice little setting there to sit out and have your coffee in the morning and your, and whatever. Yeah, so a really good place, yeah. So this is part of this Colanta trip, is this accommodation. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have a look around the ground and... So these are the grounds and the bungalows where I'm staying here in uh, Kotlanta. That's my little bungalow down there. There's one, two, three, four, five, I think six, seven. Doesn't really get crowded. It's not a gigantic place, but it's really very pretty. Sound of running water at no night. It really is a pretty little place. You saw the view from the out off the back of the balcony. Yeah, really lovely. Got a little restaurant. His wife's a great cook. She cooks great food. Yeah, so um, in process, I think he's opening up full swing on uh, in October. They've got a good kitchen in there. Really good, clean kitchen. Uh, he's putting a new bar in. Yeah, yeah, and. The restaurant, the uh, dining area, part of the place. Really lovely little place and absolutely wonderful people. It's 
really a wonderful thing when you meet people that are extremely helpful and give of you of their time and their food and whatnot. Really is fantastic. Yeah, so I think it's uh, Thai Smile Bungalows. I'm pretty sure it's called Thai Smile Bungalows, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Thai, yeah, Thai yeah, Smile. Yeah, so there you go. Just up the road here, you go down that road, uh, 40 metres, got a 7-Eleven, restaurant, bars, everything you want, and the beach. Fantastic little place. He's done a really great job at this place. It's really pretty, really is pretty, and comfortable. There it is there. Thai smile bungalows and restaurant. Uh, like everywhere around Asia, especially in the Gulf of Thailand, there's uh, a lot of flotsam and jetsam, a lot of rubbish gets washed up along the beaches, but I believe the community get together here and do a regular, regular cleaning days, which is really good. I have no idea what the name of this beach is. My friend David told me to come down here and have a look. He said it's one of the best little beaches for swimming. A lot of them are very rocky. So I'm just going to go for a walk along the beach here and give you a look. As you can see, there's lots of islands out that way. You know, I don't know what that is. Could be Kopipi or somewhere like that. Got some Mui Kopipi. Yeah, I'm not quite sure of my directions at the moment where I am. But yeah, so I haven't been making any videos and I know a few of you have sent me messages asking me what's going on, why aren't, when are you going to do a new video, why aren't you doing any videos, etc, etc. Well, I had a few problems, had some uh, relationship problems, no drama, no, no pain or suffering or anything like that. It was really beautiful, uh, really lovely woman, but... Uh, there were some differences that we were never going to see eye to eye on and I could see that, you know, down the line it was going to cause problems, you know, for her and for me. So we just amicably decided to uh, split. And of course, you know, I've had dramas with the shop. The shop wasn't even, it was only just washing its own face. So I wasn't making any money out of it. And it was getting to a point where it was starting to cost me money. So I decided to close the shop and, uh, sell all the equipment and at some stage or other I'm, I'm uh, pretty sure I'm going to do a move down here, Island Life and it reminds me so much of Lombok, when I lived on Lombok, it's a really lovely little place and uh, I think, you know, I'll have some fun down here, you know, I love the beach you know the water's really clean down here as, as, as in comparison to Cha'am Huahin, water's really clean you know, this the Andaman Sea. So uh, the only reason they don't get a lot of swell in, is here, in here is because Sumatra blocks most of that big swell that comes up through the Pacific Ocean. But they do get a bit of swell in here and there's some places there are some waves around. And by the looks of things, I'll be able to bring my fishing rods back into play when I move here. It looks like uh, a good fishing spot. But this is a lovely little cove, a lovely little beach. And it's just one of many, I guess. You know, and then of course, uh, once I get down here, and I'll start doing some videos again, because, the, you know, there's a lot of stuff to explore around here. You've got Krabby, you've got PP, you've got a three hour boat ride to Phuket, you know. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff to do. But this island in itself, from what I've seen, it's sort of, uh, stood the test of time there's a lot of old buildings being pulled down of course everyone's lost a lot of money and gone broke over covid so there's not a big a big tourist uh, thing and it's low season at the moment too so there's not too many people around uh, this stuff could do with some cleaning up but other than that you know the beaches are pretty pristine here and that stuff washes out that comes from ships and fishing and stuff like that you know but this beach looks all right yeah so there was the relationship there was the shop you know, I had a bit of a, a lull in inspiration. I felt, uh, you know, the guys that do the clickbait videos and, uh, you know, best barbecue in the world and blah, 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 blah. And I, I didn't feel uh, competitive. And then it took me a little while to, while to realise that uh, I had no need to be competitive because I'm doing my own thing. And the people are interested in the aesthetic stuff that I do about Thailand 
the temples, the jungles, the mountains, the national parks. Uh, uh, not the people that do the clickbaits videos like, you know, my girl had a big sausage, etc. You know, so I'm not interested in doing that kind of crap. So, I mean, how much does this look like Lombok, Tom? You know, it's just incredible. You know, on the main street, the main road, the main drag around the island, you know, there's lots of resorts, cafes and restaurants. There's lots of places dilapidated and falling down and being pulled down. And uh, a bit of a trek to get in here. But yeah, it seems on face value, a really pleasant, simple place, which would suit me down to the ground to live here because I'm a very simple sort of a human being at this stage of life. And uh, yeah, I can do a bit of fishing, do a bit of swimming, hopefully get into a bit of surfing again. Apparently there's some places, it's like, a, you know, three or four foot swell sometimes. There's a couple of reef breaks and one place that has some beach breaks. So I'm looking forward to that as well. So yeah, just come for a little walk down along this beach to explain to you all and give my apologies for those people that subscribe to my channel why I haven't been making any videos. But at the moment with uh, change starting to erupt into my life again, I'm starting to feel some inspiration. Uh, last week I was going to come down here but I had a bad health scare. I mean so bad. And those that know me will know, for me to get up at three o'clock in the morning and head off to the hospital, it's got to be something bad. I had the worst chest pains I've ever had in my life. It felt like I had a nine inch blade stuck in the middle of my chest. And so I trundled off to the hospital thinking that uh, I was about to uh, hit the bucket. I thought I was having a massive heart attack and they threw me on the ECG machine and she said, no, nah, your ECG is perfectly normal. There's nothing wrong with you. She said, I think you've got uh, severe dyspepsia, which basically is indigestion, which I do get from time to time, but it was so bad. So anyway, I got over that in a couple of days. They gave me a shot. I don't know if you can see. Have a look at the bruise they put on my arm. Yeah, so gave me a shot for that, sent me home. Well, I went home. They wanted to keep me there. I said, no, I'm going home. See you later. And then, uh, in two days I got over that and then felt like I was coming down with the dreaded the dreaded COVID you know had all the symptoms of a nasty flu like aching joints and a headache up the back of the head and dry cough and then I got really scared I thought oh tomorrow I'll go and have a test so of course not being vaxxed, I did the ivermectin protocol. I started my ivermectin protocol immediately and took huge amounts of vitamin C and uh, quercetin. And, and uh, in two days, I was fine. Although feeling a little bit drained, you know, from, uh, you know, I, I don't get stressed much. Well, I believe that I don't, but I think my body suffers more from stress than my head does. And so, you know, I got a bit run down and a bit tired and exhausted. But uh, today, I'm starting to feel on the mend. But anyway, this is uh, Kotlanta. Oh, I'm in Kotlanta at the moment. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's pretty down here. It's a really, from what I've seen so far, and today's my first day out in daylight here. But from what I've seen, it's really pretty. It's a really, and it, it's all like this. You know, it's all like this, and on the other, this this is one side of the main road to the beach, and on the other side you've got, uh, you know, rubber plantations, vegetables, jungle, monkeys, you know, all the stuff, and the township and the people. It's kind of like uh, reminds me so much of Bali 30 years, 30, 40 years ago. You know, just a really lovely place, and it's um, you know, I know that there's a lot of beaches around here, and it's not far. You know, it's like an hour, hour and a half on the bike back to Krabby and then you can go to Raleigh Beach and, you know, everything is within easy access here, boat rides or on the bike or whatever. When I get down here and start doing videos, I'll explore the island a bit and get the drone out, etc. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a nice place. It is a really nice place. So, okay, Thailand dreaming. You wouldn't be dead for quids. Love letters from retirement. 
we're back and we'll start getting some videos out there you know i'm not going to spend my life producing videos every day to get massive amounts of subscribers and make money i'm not into making money from my youtube channel that'd be nice but you know i'm not going to push myself for youtube i'm more into relaxing enjoying life and being happy a simple life that's my only ambition to enjoy what i've got left who knows you know only the good die young so i could be here for another 40 50 years yet we'll see good morning everybody day two on Kotlanta. out doing a little bit of exploration today having a look around at the beaches trying to find where there's going to be some waves i've definitely found some places where there's going to be some surfable waves which will be a real change for me in uh, thailand after cha am so anyway i'm going to reverse the camera and just show you a little around a little bit here this particular spot's quite beautiful i've just entered the national park which is on the southern tip of Kotlanta. So let me stop and turn the video around, turn the camera around, and we'll have a look at what's uh, some of the stuff to offer here. So a little bit more video today. I've just climbed, uh, ridden the motorbike up to this spot up here. And um, just a little sidetrack. And I'm sitting here thinking, driving around the island. And I'm thinking, do I want to live on a tropical island? Do I want to be, live the best life I can for me? And I'm thinking, almost uns, completely unspoiled tropical island. <laughs> Low season, very, very few people. One road around the island. Surrounded, of course, by the Andaman Sea. You know, I just discovered this little spot up here, taking a side road up the hill. And... Uh, Shows you a little bit of what the uh, island of Kotlanta is like. What do you think? Tell me what you think. Do I want to live on a tropical island? Do I want to live on a tropical island that is almost paradise? I think so. I think so. I think I'll really like it here. <laughs> 